For those that don't know, the Cape Coral Yacht Club is right at the mouth of the Caloosahatchee River, and it took a brunt from Hurricane Ian, surge as well as the wind. And tonight we are learning it could be a couple years before the Yacht Club is fully restored. Take a listen. After the storm, now every single building um, suffered more than 50% damage. So because of the 50% rule, we have to rebuild the current building codes and current elevations. District 3 Council Member Tom Hayden said that means demolishing those buildings. The city says bidding for that contract will likely be in July, with demolition planned to start in September, pending FEMA approval. But Hayden says given the history of the buildings, he would like to see some parts of the buildings preserved. And I've reached out to some of our older residents to walk through that building with staff and with me to determine what we can save and possibly incorporate into what we build. When asked what he would like to be saved, he lifted off beams, the fireplace, and possibly chandeliers and other items around the stage. As to the new yacht club, the city says it's still reviewing the design scope. With design, approval, and permitting, it could take anywhere from 9 to 12 months to finish, and that's just to start construction. This is going to be a methodical process. We still have to wait for FEMA to finish all their inspections so we can determine reimbursement. So to open the Yacht Club back to what is going to be a, you know, a tremendous destination place for the community is going to take years. As what could be part of the new Yacht Club, Hayden has a few ideas as a rebuild also means maximizing the space. There's a possibility, you know, we build a, a ballroom where big events can happen, smaller room where rooms where other events can happen, possibly extending the parking garage because we know uh, parking is a priority out there. We didn't have enough before because of all the people that were there. So looking at our opportunities, maybe a resort style pool, doing something with the piers, is there a possibility to uh, put a restaurant at the end of a, of a pier? Not every building will come down. The Boathouse restaurant can be saved and is planning to open in a few weeks. As for the beach, Cape Coral is waiting for on FEMA for reimbursement for sand refurbishment, while the public boat launch will stay closed until at least September while it's being used for derelict vessel removal. And the city also tells me that the new design will also include a seawall, a boat ramp, as well as a marina, and they should have those plans finalized in the next few months. In Cape Coral, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.